This book is on my nightstand. It's been on my nightstand for three years. Oh, so um, because it is such great parenting advice, especially on being present yeah. and how not to measure the length of time, but the amount of present time that I'm giving my son. So first of all, thank you for that. So I appreciate you on it. This next book. <laughs> now. Never check your email in the morning. I have failed this so miserably. <laughs> this title alone is, is amazing, but what is the concept behind this? The concept behind that is that we really want to start our day out in control of our day rather than sort of a victim to, uh, you know, somebody else deciding what we should be thinking about, et cetera. You want to start your day proactive. And we're all screen addicted, yeah. and we've gotten worse over the last couple of years, right? Everything is screen all the time. But it kind of takes you out of the moment, right? If you're on your phone, you are not present in the space. If you're trying to exercise and you're half in your phone, you're not getting much out of your workout. So to really be present, you want to sort of take control of your screen addiction, and there's no better time than the first hour of your day. You have the rest of the day so to catch up. So the first hour we wake up, do mm -hmm. not read any emails. What about text messages? No, 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 also not text. Oh. <laughs> I tried, y'all, I tried. All right, so <laughs> nothing for that first hour. That's your advice. Be present, okay. wake up, smell the coffee, yeah. feel the shower, Got pat it. your cat, Got say it. hello to the people you live with. Got it. Be present because then you, okay. your day starts grounded All right. and you're really ready for the rest of right. the day if you can be present. You talk about your other advice is having these anchors because technology has blurred the lines of personal and work. I have said on the show before, I do sleep with the phone in my bed. Yeah. My husband's there too, <laughs> but the phone is in the middle. And just, I, this is a true story. I woke up at 2 a.m. this morning. I grabbed my phone and Steve was like, uh-uh. I'm like, don't you take my phone from me. <laughs> it was 2 in the morning. It's true. I have an I'm going to tell you something about technology. <laughs> There's a big question. Does technology bring people closer together or further apart? OK, that's a true question, because I feel like FaceTime did. And, you know, I was on Zoom last week. Like, I feel like it helped, but also I feel tethered to it like everyone else. So the answer is it brings us closer to people who are geographically far away. Gotcha and separates us from people who are geographically nearby. Mm. And if we just keep that in mind, it's a power tool mm. to connect us to the people who are far away. But don't leave, mindlessly leave the people you're right next to. Mm. Be intentional. You have something called legato and staccato. Yeah, so legato and staccato is, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that we have to do in our day. And some of them are one rhythm and some are another. Staccato is all that little quick, fast things, which is on our phones. I got to answer this. I got to tell that person that I have to remind this. I'm going to order that quick, quick, quick. Mm -hmm. But we also have legato things that we want to do. Those are where you need a bigger block of time to be really fully focused and solve something. And we want to build both rhythms into our day. We're kind of caught in the staccato yeah. life where everything's fast. But when you stop and enter your child's world or your spouse's world yeah. or your friend's world yeah. or your workout and give it your undivided attention, it's a different rhythm. Oh. We have to get used to not five minute increments, but what does it feel like to be fully present for 20? Oof. That's true. And, and we should. We, we should. We really need to. And, and Isn't that crazy that we, we, 20 minutes is all you're saying? And it seems like a lifetime because we're so used to da-da-da-da-da-da. Exactly. It's incredible.